What's up everybody? My name is Daryl. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. We're in my shop. I'm going to do a little bit of a shop update today to kind of give you an idea of what kind of jobs I have coming up and what you can expect to see as far as videos. So let me turn the camera around and we will do a little walk around my shop and we'll just kind of talk about what needs to be done here because let me tell you there's a lot that needs to be done. Well, first off, I'm making a video about evaporust. So currently I have some files sitting in evaporust and we're gonna try to see uh, what these files do. I mean, will the evaporust remove all the rust from them? Uh, so they're in there now. The video will come out sometime maybe this week and we'll get an idea of what evaporust does. I never used it before. I used it on some punches when I got it. It worked really well. I'm excited to see what it's gonna do on these files. So they're sitting in there and that video will come out as soon as I get this whole experiment done. Walking around my bench, uh, just a lot of things out here that need to go away. This is the box from my last video, the uh, battery box from uh, PowerWorks. So I save the boxes in, uh, in case I ever have to send it back for repair. Or if I send something else out and need a box, I kind of keep some of the nicer boxes. Uh, I got some veneer here that I use for my vanity project that I was doing. I made a video on that, but I didn't make a full complete build video on it. I just had a lot to do with that and I needed to get it done. That was going in our main bathroom and I did not want to spend the time making a video. I just need to get this thing done. So that's why... Uh, you saw no video pass when I was selecting the wood, I think. Uh, this is a box of tools that I'm going to give to my local uh, tool repository. Uh, there's a couple of jig old jigsaws in there, some straight blades for my DeWalt uh, planer, and some just some jigs and, you know, assorted tools that I don't need. I'd rather see somebody else use them than for me to just throw them away. So that's uh, what's going on there. Uh, this is a, uh, this over here is a uh, buffet that my wife was given. Uh, we're going to use it in our house. It's not an expensive buffet. Uh, we're going to refurnish, we're refinishing it. My wife has it all stripped. I got to do some sanding on it and uh, also do some repair on it, which I started now. So I'm going to do some glue ups on it and get this thing repaired again. And uh, it's nothing special. It's not a very expensive piece of uh, uh, furniture, but we're going to use it for a while in our place. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we're just going to kind of use it until we get our kitchen remodeled. And then uh, I don't know what this thing, where this thing's going to go after that. If it stays with us, but I need to get moving on that. I'm not probably going to make a video on it. Uh, it's kind of, it is what it is there. Uh, it just has a lot of, uh, it's just not very, it's not made very well. It was made, I don't know when it was made. It was made way back in the late 1800s or early 1900s or something, I don't know. But uh, it's pretty cheaply made. It's uh, just run down some factory line and it just got thrown together. So it's not really a you know, solid piece of furniture. If it was, I would spend some more time on it and some more effort, but uh, just not worth it. Uh, moving along, I got this pile of uh, cutoffs, and also over here is uh, some hardwood I got stacked up. And at some point I need to figure out what to do here. I mean, I don't want uh, lumber stored in my shop. I have the barn back here that it should be in, and I have a bunch of wood in there. I have no place else to put wood. So I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I don't know if I'm going to put up a rack. I thought about putting up a rack across here and trying to uh, get this stuff off the floor. I really don't like stuff on my floor. I like to be able to keep the floors clean and not be tripping over stuff or having a place for spiders to hide or whatever. I don't like it. So at some point, I need to come up with a solution to that. Now, I've been trying to make things, uh, you know, little projects to try to get rid of some of this stuff, but... Uh, yet it is still here so 
So that's what's going on there. I got piles of wood here that need to be milled. I got piles of wood here that need to be milled. Um, back here uh, is a book, uh, not a bookshelf, but a, like a shelving unit that I'm making for my wife. I'm going to be starting to finish that up real soon. I got the two sides done on it. I just may need to make the shelves. Um, walking over here, I've been trying to get these tools put away. I don't have a place to put these tools. Uh, these were some tools I, uh, some punches I put through evapor rust already and got them all cleaned up. Now they just need to have a, a little tool tray like I made for the files. So I have one section of files in the evapor rust right now and then I'll do all these. Then I'm going to make another one of these little divider units for the punches and they'll probably set back in here. So I made these, uh, these, these shelves or these uh, drawer units and uh, they're supposed to be a chop saw station but I've yet to make the center part here. So I have not, even though my chop saw is sitting up there, I've not used it at all in this position because it's just not ready. I mean, I, I want to put the, put uh, the, make a cabinet to go down here with drawers and then get this thing set up at the right height. And I don't even know if this is the chop saw I'm going to be using here, but I wanted to get it up off my floor. So I just put that little, uh, this little piece here up and we got it off the floor out of my way, but I need to uh, get moving on that. So when that's, when I do do that, these, these things here might, are probably going to go away. Uh, but this is a little, this little, uh, tool uh, cabinet and that's where I keep all my screwdrivers and some wrenches and then over here the microwave is going to go over here where I'm going to build something new for my refrigerator and have a place to put a microwave up there so the plan was uh, to be able to do that and just not have to go back into the house to eat a snack or whatever I could stay out here and work so uh, I gotta work on that and then of course I'm a ham radio operator so I got Radios lined up and computers lined up here for things that I'm doing. I made a video a long time ago about uh, putting a radio in, and it's down here. And as you see, that's where I left off with it. And then I ended up putting this uh, Yezu uh, dual band radio. I made this little uh, this little uh, case for it so I could take it with me when we do uh, like public service type events. So I just put that thing together. I'm like, well, as long as I have it. I might as well pull the Motorola head off of this thing where I had it and uh, just leave this out here. So I don't know what I'm going to do next. It's kind of a mess right now. I think I'm just going to remove this uh, this high power Motorola radio out of there and put it back up up in the attic where it was. And maybe when I get a I decide to get a car or something, a truck or something, I can put that in there and uh, have a high power VHF radio in there. But for right now, I just got this running. So anytime I'm out in my shop, I got my radios running. I'm listening to the local ham repeaters here. And then on this scanner up here, I'm listening to the local airport. And I also want to get trains. I uh, listen to the trains on this one, but I haven't got it programmed or an antenna on it yet. So we're working on that. So my tool, my electronics workbench is dirty right now. It needs to be cleaned up. Uh, this cabinet down here is uh, what these two particular ra uh, radio and a modem were in that someone gave me to look at. So I took them out of the box and I looked at them and now I'm done with them. <laughs> so uh, moving on, uh, this here, this is uh, my little uh, snack uh, area here. I got a refrigerator with some water and soda in there, pop. And then I got some chips in here if I want chips. Uh, some wipes to clean up my hands with so if they're greasy uh, water storage here but I want to build something longer where I can put the microwave up here and I have some more under the counter uh, storage and I think it will look a whole lot nicer and also get that microwave here off my bench over here out of the way uh, and then another project I got coming up is this small diesel tractor this is a sato beaver if you look on my at my other videos way back you'll see that i have a sato buck uh, this sato beaver was my father's and had some engine trouble 
and I have not had any time to get this thing back together again. Um, but I'm, I think that once I get a couple more projects done, I'll have some time to make some videos on getting this tractor running again. It's a two cylinder diesel. And right now the governor on it is not assembled properly. So I have to pull the governor out and get it assembled properly and then start putting it back together again. It is, as far as I know, runnable. There's a story with this tractor. And when I start making the videos, I'll tell you what happened and why it's in this position right now. And that's gonna be a very interesting story and kind of embarrassing also. But uh, that's all that's going on really on this end. So let me walk around to the other side and then I'll come on back. So the Sato Beaver, pretty cool little tractor. It's got a bucket, it's got a tiller for it and a uh, like a little bush hog that goes with it. So uh, pretty kind of cool. And I can't wait to get that thing going again. So let's walk around to the other side of the room. Now shop update would not be a shop update without discussing the elephant in the room. And the elephant in the room is this car right here. This car takes up a lot of room. And my shop is never meant to be that way, but yet here it is. Now this is a 1994 Cadillac Fleetwood Brougham. It's got about 85,000 miles on it and it's in fairly decent shape. Uh, it has some, a few uh, cosmetic issues with it, but other than that, it doesn't have any rust on it whatsoever. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> yes, this was my father's car, and when he passed away, it came, became my car. And I love the car, I don't have the room for the car. So it's kind of a sad, situation where it's taking up a lot of room in my shop and I have to make a decision to keep it and let it be in my way or to sell it and maybe have uh, room for like an assembly table in my shop. So this car has got some maintenance that needs to be done on it. I have a few cosmetic issues I need to uh, tend to like this wheel the brakes on this wheel are hanging up and uh, I think it just has a uh, a leaky cylinder so I need to pull that tire wheel off and uh, clean everything up and do a rebuild on that cylinder. Uh, I just had two brand new brake lines from the front all the way back to the back wheels replaced uh, because those of course were rusted so even though the car has very you know only 85,000 miles on it I remember that I was telling you that it was sitting up in my dad's shop and there's a lot of moisture in that shop. Now underneath the car is not really rusted, but at all, it looks really good. But those uh, brake lines, they didn't like that. So they, I went to drive it and I put my foot on the brake and luckily I was right by the house and uh, the, one of the brake lanes went. So uh, when they were back there replacing that, when I told them to replace both of them, so. They're both uh, newly replaced. So now I gotta get this cylinder. And I guess this is to be expected because the car, you know, 1994 was a long time ago. So, you know, uh, rubber dries out. So it's gonna be uh, something that I gotta get done. So not a whole lot of work to do on this. Basically just fixing the brake and a couple other issues and uh, no, no major work or anything like that needs to be done. And it needs to have like the air conditioner uh, recharged. Um, it works, but it, it's uh, not cold enough. So I think it's just low on coolant. So I will need to get that attended to. And then I'm just gonna sell the car. So it's gonna be hard to see it go. My dad would never let me drive it. <laughs> he wouldn't let me drive it at all. And uh, I drove it in his funeral. So uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but uh, I did drive it at his funeral. And of course I've only driven to like, it's been down here for about two years. And uh, I've probably driven it maybe, I don't know, three times. It seems like every time I want to drive it, somebody wants to try to run into me. Uh, so uh, it's in real good shape inside. Um, it's all, of course, all leather. 
but uh, I got the, some top, some uh, sheets that I put over it to try to keep it clean. But uh, it's going to go out for uh, a washing and cleaning um, real soon. But uh, it's a big car, man. <laughs> they don't make them like this anymore. Uh, now that all well, it has a little bit of dust on it right now. But like I said, there's no rust on it anywhere. Everything's solid, original metal. But it does have a few little uh, dings out, like rock chips from going on vacations. So, other than that, pretty nice. Okay, I'm sitting in the Cadillac, and I'm enjoying these leather seats and all the room in here. Be a great day to take this car out for a little cruise around. The weather here has been really nice. It's in the low 70s. Uh, the humidity is low. And we haven't had any rain in about the last two months, it seems. So we could really use some rain. It's been real dry. Uh, I'm going to uh, finish up this buffet project I'm working on and finish my wife's uh, plant shelf. And then it'll be time to do the built-in. So I'll make some videos on the built-in. Uh, that ought to be pretty nice uh, when it's finished. And then I'm off to maybe the, a bedroom remodel. But if you like this uh, type of content, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. It's much appreciated and we'll catch you next time.